all these major product design companies and major global companies, they want biomimicry specialists who can understand nature and how to translate natural phenomenon into products and solutions. G'day, I'm Rob, and today I'm with Veronica from AIM Overseas. How are you? Good, thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for coming. Um, today we're going to talk about the biomimicry program. Um, and I thought we might start off by talking about the destination. Mm. This is a pretty special destination for anyone who's interested in yeah. this topic. It is. So the biomimicry program that we are talking about is going to be taught at San Jose in Costa Rica, which is a stunning destination. Um, well, if you're not there for a holiday, um, it's time to look into it. <laughs> um, but San Jose is basically the capital city of Costa Rica, which is in Central America. Um, San Jose is surrounded by greenery, so in that city itself, you've got you know the beautiful parks and um, the craft beers and really good um, co coffees. Um, but it's also surrounded by many national parks, so you it's just filled with greeneries. And then you go further out, you go close to the ocean, and that's where you see a lot of stunning beaches. Um, so yeah, it's it's the best place to study such a topic. Yeah, absolutely. Like the biodiversity there, the mountains, the ocean, the tropical environment. So much nature and of course biomimicry mm. is all about taking inspiration yeah. from nature for, um, for products. That's right. So tell me a little bit more about that and why this is so important right now. Yeah, so biomimicry is exactly what you just said. It's basically just um, creating solutions inspired by nature, um, whether it's nature in the water, um, on land, um, in the air, birds, um, you know, or how the clouds function. I think there's so much that we can take inspiration from. Um, and why it's so important? Well, um, as we living, we are living in this day and age where climate change is such a hot topic on conversation and rightly so, um, as well as sustainability and how can we live a more sustainable life um, for the sake of our future generation. Um, yeah, this, this topic basically encourages students um, who want to be designers and creators to, you know, or create solutions that are helpful without the expense of nature and um, you know keeping that in the back of the mind I think it's it's great it's a topic that um, I feel like every designer uh, no matter what industry you're in should um, study and learn about um, because there's so much that we can learn from nature yeah, I, I think I think the converse is also true it's also like for science students who mm. might not know where they want to end up down the track but if you have that detailed knowledge about biomimicry from a science point of view um, all these major product design companies and major global companies, they want biomimicry specialists who can understand nature and how to translate natural phenomenon into products and solutions. Exactly. As well, on the flip side, um, this topic is so important because this is something that you can contribute to you know, big companies where it's multinational and you just don't know how big or small your um, contribution can make to yeah, the and, you know, impact. Exactly, the whole world. So, yeah. So, so this great one like, like recently which was um, a researcher in uh, the UK who mm. had designed a new type of plastic basically um, that came from fish scales and like left the fish products from fisheries. Um, and the plastic is as durable as regular mm. plastic, it's tough, um, it it's, can be impermeable depending on the formulation, yeah. and it breaks down. So yeah. rather than all those terrible single-use plastics, yeah. fish scale plastic. That it's makes sense because it's like, well, we get rid of the scales to eat the fish anyway, yeah. right? And um, nature design them through 100 million years of evolution. Yeah. There you go, boom, it's your solution. Yeah, um, as part of my research, well, researching about the program and you know what students get to do um, mm. on the program, I found some really clever um, ideas that were biomimicry, well, biomimicry ideas or inspired by nature. And one of it, very similar to the plastic that you mentioned, is um, well, Velcro. Very clever solution. We take it for granted because we use it in our everyday life these days. He would realize that um, his dog would um, catch onto burrs, like huh. little seedlings. Yeah. Became the idea of oh, how can I create something that would uh, attract 
or would stick onto another um, piece of fabric yeah. together. Um, and that was how Velcro came about. Nice. And yeah, so just little things like that, that you know, you would think that it's no big deal, but actually um, we can learn so much from it. And so what will students learn as part of this program? Mm, so on the program, students get to, you know, learn and hear from different scientists. Um, I believe they go on um, tours in the forest as well because you are in Costa Rica after all. Um, you also get to learn about you know biodiversity and biomimicry and what the difference is um, and how to use it to your advantage as a designer. Um, and I believe you learn about like ecosystems and what we can, you know, how you can be inspired by ecosystems. Um, and then you also go into the uh, forest take inspiration there, come back, go into the labs and create a prototype for a new design. So yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's very hands-on. Hands exactly. Yeah, nice. Over a period of like just three weeks, you get to see, you know, open your eyes and, and see what's out there and then think about solutions that you want, oh sorry, think about problems that you want to create solutions for and then create them. And you have, you know, experts and, um, I think the lecturer is a really sought after um, guy in biomimicry and design cool. and he, I think he got his degree at the Harvard Business School. So just you have, you're in the best place basically as a designer. Um, so yeah, I, I think that's really cool. Sounds good. Awesome. Mm. So what else can students expect from the overall experience of studying overseas? Mm. Yeah, so studying overseas, um, I think it opens your eyes to different cultures and um, not only does it, you know, let you see something different, but it also actually um, changes you inside and you come back, you know, becoming to become more adapt adaptable um, in your environment, whether you're about to go into a new job or you're starting a completely new season in life. Um, yeah, that's going to help you. I think it's going to um, get you new friends as well because um, you're going to meet a lot of students who are interested in the things that you are interested mm. as well um, and you get to share this experience with them and you know although they've got friends from home their friends from home won't have this shared experience that you have with them so it kind of creates a very different type of closeness in that friendship and um, students who have gone overseas I've spoken to many of them and uh, all of them have told me of you know just the built the relationship that they have built um, with other students on the program and how they're still talking now every day on the group chat and they meet up with each other and I think it's just so cool like you know we'll, we're built for relationships and so I think Besides the fact that you get to, you know, get credit for your your degree and you get to learn something so cool in a such a fun destination, you also get to meet like-minded people. And we don't um, say that for the sake of saying it, but we, I, I really believe so. Awesome. Mm. Great to chat with you, Veronica. Thanks. Thank you.